Just a quick thank you to Rucket Sports for providing some of the equipment in this video. For more information, click the link down below. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about three of my favorite hitting drills that you can do as a station before your batting practice. So if you got batting practice going on in the main field, uh, you could do this. Obviously, you're not gonna do it in the outfield when you're taking batting practice on the field, but you can do this off to the side of the field um, as the station before your guys get into the uh, actual live batting practice on the field. So all you need for these drills is just a tee and a net or a little station where you can hit into. And the very first drill that we're gonna do is the Bryce Harper drill. Um, I made a video about this a long time ago. Um, some guys call this the donkey drill. Whatever you wanna call it, what you're trying to do in this drill is get your hips involved. The main point of this drill is to get your hips involved. Obviously Bryce Harper does a great job of that when he's hitting. And this drill, all we're doing is trying to show the bottom of our foot, our front foot, to the pitcher, okay? Obviously there's no pitcher, we're hitting off the tee, but when we get loaded up, we wanna close this hip, right? So when, if we show the bottom of our foot, our hip is getting closed, right? Now this is an over-exaggeration for most guys in game swings, right? We're probably not gonna get this far closed on a game swing. But for this drill, it's great to over-exaggerate that and really work on the hips. Now what happens when guys first try this drill who don't normally close their hips that much is they get a lot of rotational energy so the hands start to get out and around and they start rolling over balls. So really, although we're focusing on the legs and the hips, you really also wanna focus on the hands and staying connected and in slot because if you start to feel your hands get long and out and around, that's no bueno, all right? You wanna stay short, you wanna stay connected with the upper body, but also we're working on staying closed with those hips and then creating a lot of that rotational energy as we go to hit. So that's the Bryce Harper drill, AKA the donkey drill, just getting closed off and getting a good swing. All right, the second drill that we can do here in our little station is gonna be the skater, skater swings, okay? Um, this is a great drill to really work on your linear energy and staying inside of your back leg. I see a lot of guys when they load up, they get too much weight over their back leg, so it's hard for them to drive forward, have good leg drive, right? So with skaters, we don't have to be real far when we jump back and forth, that's what skaters are. We can stay nice and small when we're doing it, but we really wanna feel that weight inside of that back knee so we can drive forward and get those hips going back this way. So the first drill we're working on staying closed. The second drill we're working on driving forward to get the energy going the other way. So skater swings looks a little something like this. Again, you don't have to be very big on the skaters. Keeping your hands close to your body inside of that back knee and swing. One thing to focus on when you're doing that drill too is to kind of have your hands moving with your body as you're going. So it's actually gonna help you with your load in your upper body as well as your lower body. All right, the third drill we're gonna do is Happy Gilmore's. And Happy Gilmore's are just like the movie. You, if you guys ever seen the movie where he's smoking the golf balls, he's stepping behind and just absolutely crushing golf balls. That's what we're gonna do, but with baseballs, obviously. And I like this drill a lot because it works on the full body, the full movement, and we get everything going, we get everything moving. A lot of times with our young athletes, we focus on mechanics a lot, and we tend to break down the positions of swings, and we really get too, uh, too deep into the little things that we're supposed to be doing. When we do the Happy Gilmore, you really can't think about all that, and it's more of a fluid motion. We're moving the whole time. There's no stopping and going, and we keep that momentum going. So it looks a little something like this. You just get set up a little far from the tee, and all you're gonna do is step behind. I like stepping behind. You'll see some guys when they do this drill, they step in front. I don't like doing it that way though, because when you step in front, now your hips are open. So you're open to open. So now you're just swinging open to open. If you step behind, now your hips are closed, and then we open to swing, okay? So we're working more on a real like swing. So it looks a little something like this, get set up. Obviously you're gonna have to play with the distance of how far you get away. Usually I like to hold my bat out at like a 45 degree angle and get close to that ball. And you're gonna be able to judge how far you step to get to that ball and make good contact. So it looks a little something like this when we put it all together, check my distance, get set up, step behind. One thing you wanna focus on when doing this drill though is that when you create that momentum going forward and swing that you don't continue going forward. We don't wanna finish over our front leg. We wanna make sure we hit against our front leg, stay behind it, be good and strong on that front side, but still create that momentum going forward. So it looks a little something like this again. Strong against that front leg. 
Listen guys, if you don't know, I'm doing a giveaway with Rucket Sports. I'm doing six videos with them. What you have to do is watch all six of those videos, and in those videos, I'm gonna give you a secret keyword, okay? The secret keyword for this video here is happy, like Happy Gilmore. Now, what you're gonna do, once you have all six keywords, you're gonna go over to Instagram, follow Rucket Sports, and then DM them all six of the secret keywords for your chance to win. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell right next to it after you do so you're notified every time a new video comes up. Go check out these videos. Hop down in the comments below. Let me know what you're working on this season.